Hi guys, welcome back for another quick review. This time we've got the McFarlane Gold Label Batman Hazmat Suit. This is the Amazo Virus Hazmat Suit. And like I say, it's the gold label version, which has got a bit of a gimmick. It has a light up Batman symbol. So I thought I'd get it, give it a look as I've not seen uh, McFarlane do a light up feature yet. So we'll just have a quick look at the box. It's your standard McFarlane box with the standard gold label marketing in the top corner. It does have this extra bit that tells you that it's a light up suit. You've got the name of the character down the side, a picture of him on the side all lit up, and the rest of the figures from within his line. And then at the bottom you've got all the legal rubbish. So let's crack him open and have a look. So here he is guys out of the box. He's a little top heavy so it's quite awkward to get him to stand without his stand which he comes with he doesn't come with any accessories no guns obviously dc characters with mcfarland don't come with guns anymore but no melee weapons or anything it's literally just the figure you do get the stand and you get the standard card that you get with every mcfarland figure but first of all the paint apps on this on this figure are absolutely stunning if you can see this, it's like a silver with like a grey wash over the top to give the look of warm metal, and it's really well done. Same on the boots. And then the suit itself is a very dark grey, rather like um, Ben Affleck's bat suit. And then it has the hazmat label behind his bat suit on the back. He has the air pressure tank to help him breathe. He's the gold. On his belt is all worn as well. I don't know if that camera will be able to pick that up. And then he has the uh, bullets on his belt here. And yeah, the paint the paint apps on this figure are stunning. The mask is really well done as well. It's a clear visor over the top of his normal cowl. And if you press the uh, air tank in on his back, his chest light, light, lights up. It doesn't stale it up. As soon as you let go, it turns off. But overall, I'm very impressed with the look of this figure. It's one of McFarlane's better looking figures, I think. I think they're getting better as they go along. Articulation wise, he has a rocker. Yeah, he has uh, front and back and side to side in the in the foot. Um, double jointed, so he can almost kick himself in the butt, in the knee. There is a boot cut, I think, but it doesn't work very well. I don't want to force it. No thigh cuts in these. Nope. Um, ball joint at the wrist, so you can get some weird articulation in the wrist. And single jointed elbows. Is it double? Oh, yeah, double jointed elbows there. Oh, there you go. It does stay on. You just have to get it in the right position. And that looks really good. That will look really nice in my cabinet if I could get it to stay on, but it probably wouldn't last very long. There is a little tab here in the back that you pull out when you first open the figure, and then you can get him to light up. There you go, there he is off again. Um, neck articulation, there's not a lot at all because of the breathing apparatus here. There is a little bit of movement, but not a lot at all. Chest, he's got a bit of a... A little bit of movement, but again, because of the backpack and the tubing, there's not a lot. So you wouldn't be able to get him in overly dynamic poses. But for a gimmick, the light-up gimmick, I think it um, works pretty well. Overall, a very good figure, I think. For the money, it was 25 which is £5 more expensive than the standard um, McFarlane figures in most places. But I think... Uh, it was worth it. It, it, it. Like I say, it's certainly a stunning figure. One of McFarlane's best to date. I would highly recommend this one. So, there you go. Guys, if you're liking these quick reviews, please hit the like and subscribe button. Um, I'll be doing some more as the weeks go on. I've done a Boba Fett one already. That may have gone up before this. But um, as long, along with my weekly, uh, sorry, my monthly hauls of Blu-rays and figures... <laughs> I'll be doing these quick reviews if uh, people like them. Um, I'm not the greatest reviewer in the world. I'm certainly not the greatest toy poser in the world. But I do like a nice looking action figure. 
Um, so thanks again for joining me, guys, and I'll see you next time.